Hi, and welcome back. My name is Daniel, and today I'll be doing sort of like a vlog for for today, and I'll be talking about my computer setup. Um, as you guys, some of you guys know, I released a video a couple of months ago talking about my computer setup for teaching English online and also some gaming as well. So over the last couple of months, I have been upgrading my uh, my setup. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you guys about. Uh, like I said in my uh, one of my videos, I'm a very big uh, technophile. I love technology, especially computers. In the past, I've built all the computers by myself, and it's more of like a, a passion that I have. And I'd like to talk to you guys about it. You might get some ideas of your own uh, if you're looking to buy a gaming setup or a pc setup working from home you know uh, some of the peripherals that i have as well you might be interested and pick some up now all and i mean all of uh, the items that i'll be showing you in this video were bought on lazada para sa mga pinoy dyan, don't be afraid to use lazada uh, it's such a great service. I've never had any problems with them. You know, just be very careful about choosing what you want to buy from reliable uh, stores on Lazada. Okay, so let's get things started here. Uh, first, I'd like to talk about uh, my new computer setup. So this is my new computer setup. I'm using a Fantech, not a fan. Not a Fantech, it's like, I think it's like a local brand that has the same name, I guess. So it has a mesh front with great airflow, very, very affordable. It also has tempered glass side panel. Okay, uh, it does, when you buy it, it does come with, uh, f I think like four RGB fans, which I had to replace because they're not good. So I'm using my own. I'm using a Dark Flash DR12, not the Pro, just the DR12. Um, I bought a five pack for, I think, like uh, less than $50. For my motherboard, I am using a mortar titanium B450 with a Ryzen 2700 which is an 8th thread, 16 core. I think it's good enough for the budget that I have and it's uh, more than capable enough of handling all the necessary software that I use when I teach. So I can really do a lot of multitasking with this processor. It gives a lot of power and also it's still within my budget on Lazada from China. Uh, brand new for 7,000 something pesos. So a great deal overall. For the, the motherboard, like I said, I'm using an MSI Mortar Titanium B450. I tried thinking of getting the B550, but uh, it's a little bit out of my budget. So I just decided to go with a B450. I will be using this setup for a very long time, probably around five years. So there's really, I don't really have any plans to do any upgrades uh, for the new Ryzen CPUs that's coming out. So I'm very, very satisfied with this. A lot better than my four core, uh, my four core i5 from my previous build. So it's, the difference is light and day. For my RAM, I'm using a Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, 3200 MHz, 16 gigabytes, DDR4, C CL16. Really, really fast RAM. Ever since I started building uh, computers, I really wanted to have a Corsair RAM. You know, the, the quality and the performance is like really, really good. So I highly recommend this as well. For my cooling, I'm using ID Cooling Auraflow X240 White RGB. Um, I, I saw this and I gotta have it on my system since the theme that I'm going for is mostly black and white. So I, and of course it's, it was within my budget. That's the most important thing for this one. 
and I got it for 3,850 pesos. For my power supply, I'm using a Seasonic Focus Plus 650 Gold SSR 650FX. For the longest time, I've been using uh, Seasonic. They're a very, very reliable company, especially for their PSUs. It's fully mo modular and I really wanted it. I just wanted to have very reliable power supply on my uh, setup. For storage, I'm still using my old ones. A, I think it's a 128 gigabyte SSD from Crucial and uh, a Western Digital Green one terabyte. But I will be upgrading to M.2 NVMEs in the near future very very soon for my gpu i'm still using my old one my sapphire r9 380 but this month i will be upgrading to the 2700 uh super uh rtx from nvidia um because i do plan to um to game uh at 1440p Next, I'd like to talk about my uh, new monitor. It's a 27 inches bezel, uh, model number 27DM2X. Uh, it does 4K 60 hertz, and you can also do 1440p at 144 hertz, and also 1080p at 144 hertz. So it's such a great monitor for the price. I really like it. I got it for 9,200 pesos. Very happy for the price. I think it's um, one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, uh, 27 inch 4K monitor that you can get on Lazada. Um, there's a lot of other sellers that are currently selling it. So again, it is the Bezel 27 DM2X really really like this monitor and i'm still using my old uh envision 21.5 inch as my second monitor i've got it mounted using north bayou nbh160 gas strut cylinder monitor mounts it's dual uh, i really like it because i can configure my monitors to any setup that i want um, behind my desk is actually my bed so I can actually swivel one of the uh, monitors my 4k display I can swivel it and I can basically watch you know while uh, laying in bed and um, that's why I decided to get this uh, particular uh, mounting system um, it's pretty affordable 3299 pesos uh, again from Lazada and if you're looking for a uh, dual monitor mount system, uh, gas powered, fully customizable, I'd recommend this one. Next, I'd like to talk about my mouse and keyboard. Both are in white, again, to match my theme. Uh, for, my, for my mouse, I'm using the uh, an LG G304 or G305, depending on the region that you uh, are living in. It's a programmable wireless mouse, which uses either a AA battery or a AAA battery. I like it. I, I've got small hands, and it really fits my hands really well. It's such a great uh, mouse. It's nice and small. Really, really glides easily. For my keyboard, I'm using uh, the N Pro 2 with uh, Gatoron Browns. Uh, the reason I went with Gatoron Browns is that I need it, I need it to be silent when I'm teaching because I do type a lot when I'm uh, teaching. So my previous keyboard, uh, I think, was using Kale Blues. It was a little bit too noisy. Um, but this one, I like it. It's white, uh, you know, it's RGB, and uh, the quality is really, really nice. Again, you can buy this both peripherals on Lazada. Okay, um, typing on it is really, really comfortable. Um, one thing that I guess that is a con for me is that um, it's not adjustable the height or the the level of the keyboard is not adjustable so it really depends on you know uh, your your typing style I guess like if you put you know, yeah but it, it, it's really comfortable I really like it um, 
it's really nice um i'm planning to do some modifications to it that will make it a little bit more silent um for me for my taste it's a little bit too noisy so i am going to be installing some o-rings to the keycaps to make it a little bit more silent i will be making a video of that as well uh in the near future uh, to show you guys how easy it is to um, customize your keyboard uh, for mechanical keyboards okay other things you know i just painted my my bose sound link mini to white i also painted my uh my behringer mixer um, the sides to white and as you guys can see uh with my microphone i have a i painted the pop filter white and also i'm using a white foam with white xlr cables just to match the theme so i hope that you guys enjoyed this small uh vlog video that i made and i will be making more videos in the near future so for now always stay safe and i'll see you in the next one take care